Okay, mm -hmm. good morning. Neil here with the After Lip Radio Show here today with my series Who's Who in Santa Cruz. And this morning I'm joined by uh, Laurie Butterworth, who is the founder of Jacob's Heart and now is the founder, of, a co-founder of the Chat Center for Child and Adolescent Mental Health. We are here in SoCal, where this center is about to open. We have opened. I've seen a few kids now. Coming in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. For mostly um, anxiety, other mental health disorders, things yeah. that kids are struggling with. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about mental health crisis. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about, um, this couple, you gave me some notes. I got notes. You know, I don't work on notes. I got, she gave me notes. But my first question, okay. Neil's first question, he, I ask everybody okay. is, could you please tell me what your favorite Marianne's ice cream flavor is? I have a confession. <laughs> You've never been? No. Well, there's want... a reason. There's a reason. It's got to be good. <laughs> because I cut out sugar from yeah. my diet. Do they have any Do they have any sugar-free flavors? I don't know. Well, why would you? That's why, like, it's like kissing your sister. I, mean, I, mean, I know. No, no, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very different from kissing your sister. But no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Marianne. Are, you, are you, they a sponsor? You don't go? No. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I have two grandkids, and when they come up to Santa Cruz, I will take them, because they will love it, and then yeah. I'll get back oh, to Oh, that you. new little Italian place next, right behind here. Yeah, right behind here. Oh. Yeah, I know. I went in there, I said, everything <laughs> sugar-free, they almost gave me <laughs> They gave you the boot, lady. I know, I know. All right, here we go. Youth mental health crisis. Yeah. What about it? What's causing, I mean, what's causing it? There must be 150 reasons why. Yeah. What's causing it? There, What's your view on that? Well, okay, so there are a lot of reasons it's really hard to like pinpoint one thing, but the truth is, I mean, I don't think anybody who sees kids around today can deny that there's a crisis in mental health. So why that is, I don't know. Most people don't know, but I'll tell you what is the biggest cause from data and from research is social media. Right. So... Um, is that can you can you go back to can you make that just a cell phone? I mean, well, phone. Well, uh, um, Jonathan Haidt, he's a, um, a social psychologist out of NYU, and he's an incredible researcher. He just published a go book. Ahead. Yeah. What, what do you need to do? Keep going. Going somewhere? Yeah. Keep going. He, he just published a book. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'm just checking. Yeah, I think yeah. working. I mean, I, yeah, everything's working. Uh, yeah. So I have anxiety about stuff working. I, I have anxiety about my anxiety. You know, that's <laughs> what people. That's that's meta anxiety. I'll talk about that if you want to. We, but anyway, he put, published this book called The Anxious Generation, and in it he lays out the case that the rise in youth mental health challenges today is mostly due to the the introduction of social media into the lives of youth. And you look, I'll tell you a statistic that is alarming. So from 2010, when it, when smartphones were just kind of getting introduced, and yeah. you look at 2012 and going on, to 2019, and notice that that's right before COVID. This is before COVID, there was a 134% increase in adolescent anxiety. That's like off the charts. Yeah. And then COVID made it worse. Yeah. So people kind of point to COVID and say, oh, our youth are anxious because they were isolated for two years. Yeah, they're really anxious. And depression, too. I, I talk, I, my specialty is anxiety. But um, far, the, the, the trend started when, they, when social media got into their hands. And now we look at addiction statistics around it. We look at kids' mental health in general not just anxiety, and we have, we have a mess. 